This video is how to stake ETH on Binance. So if you do have some Ethereum in your account, uh, you can stake the ETH and you get given something called WB ETH, which is wrapped beacon ETH. I'll explain what that is and what we're actually doing right here. And then some of the ways that we can use this token. So if you do have your Binance account logged in, go to the Earn platform and then you can search for ETH if you want. So I've searched for ETH and I've just dropped the click down here and it's ETH staking. So you can get uh, through to that. Or if you go up to Simple Earn right here, you can see ETH and Sol staking as well. We'll stick to ETH staking for this video. So you can click that, it takes you through to the page. This is on the mobile app as well, so you can see this. But what we're doing is we're using Binance to stake Ethereum. So Binance are running uh, validators on the Ethereum network. We're taking our ETH, we're putting them on their validators. They're getting the staking rewards from the blockchain. So this yield that we're getting is from the blockchain itself. So it's not lending or anything like that. Um, this is just standard staking. And when we swap our ETH in and we give it to Binance, they go ahead and stake it. They give us a token back that represents our staked Ethereum. And this is known as WB ETH, wrapped beacon ETH. So this just represents our ETH that Binance is staking for us because it's essentially a receipt, right? We're giving them ETH, they're giving us the token and the staking rewards on top. And we just keep that in our account and we're getting the rewards. Now, if you wanna obviously get our ETH back from Binance, we have that WB ETH in our account as a receipt and as a representation of our staked ETH. So we can swap that back and redeem it for just plain ETH if we wanna take that out. Now with WB ETH, because this is a token itself, we can actually remove this token from the platform as well. If you want just to keep it in a wallet that you own, or if you want to use it in DeFi, this token will do that. And this token always represents the amount of ETH that you have that is staked. So let's go ahead and uh, actually stake the ETH in the first place. So Binance ETH staking, you can see here, we can stake the ETH and you can redeem it on this same page. But all they do, they stake the ETH, you earn rewards daily, and then you can redeem the WB ETH if you want. So we're gonna press stake ETH and there's just an amount that you can put in, right? So if you have some ETH in your account, just press the amount that you wanna stake and that swaps it into WB ETH. Now there are no fees here. You're not using the blockchain directly. What Binance is gonna do is they're gonna take your order and they're gonna put it with lots of other orders on the system at the current time. And you know, maybe once a day, they will actually go ahead and stake the ETH and it's gonna take a few days for, for you to actually start earning rewards. So you can see the uh, ballot, uh, reference APR right here is 2.74%. What that means is you're gonna be getting 2.74% uh, as an annualized rate right now. However, this can change over time. Uh, so you know, it's a variable rate, whatever the blockchain pays. But we are taking our ETH and we're putting it into WB ETH. Now you should be able to see here that the amount that you're staking, you do not get the exact same amount uh, in WB ETH. That's because WB ETH or wrapped beacon ETH is an accumulating token, right? Because we have, let's say we stake one ETH with Binance. Well, after a year, that is gonna be one ETH plus the staking rewards of currently 2.74%. So how is that extra 2.74% actually represented? Well, it's represented in a higher price of WB ETH versus the ETH that you had. It should be one point 0.027%, right, or 1.027, right, because you've got those extra staking rewards. That's represented by a higher price in WB ETH. WB ETH is a token that anyone can own, and it's essentially a big pool of ETH staking. So this actual token is going to be more and more and more expensive versus the underlying ETH as time goes on. So we swap an amount of ETH and we actually get fewer or less WB ETH, but that doesn't matter. We're just taking the conversion ratio at the time. And then when we redeem, whatever the conversion ratio is will actually be even higher because it will just represent one ETH plus the staking rewards. So this should always be more expensive than ETH. You should always get fewer tokens when you're swapping your ETH into WB ETH. And then when you obviously swap them back, it's gonna represent how much you have. So we're gonna swap this amount into WB ETH right here. You can see some of the project rules, so just uh, familiarize yourself with this. There is essentially a 10% fee that Binance take for staking. So you know they take uh, some amount, 10% of the staking rewards, they take that out before returning it to you, which is kind of in the ballpark uh, for what other uh, you know, liquid staking tokens are gonna give. There are many others out there, but this is Binance's. So if you're happy with the redemption periods as well, when you're redeeming the asset, if you do have WB ETH and you wanna get ETH back, when you redeem it, uh, it's gonna take a few days uh, and you may not earn any staking rewards during that time for those few days. 
when you are staking it as well, again, that may take a few days. So it might take a couple of days for you actually to start earning those staking rewards on top as well. So, um, you know, just be uh, aware of what exactly is happening here. So we're going to stake our ETH, turn it to WB ETH, press stake. Uh, just make sure that you've accepted all of these. You can just click these and, and read them, but you just have to accept all of them. Press confirm. And that's free and instant because it's just in your Binance account. So stake successful. We've turned it from ETH into WB ETH. WB ETH is a liquid staking token. This just means that it represents staked ETH on the blockchain. And whoever owns that token gets the value of ETH plus the staking rewards and that's it. So because it's a token, you can actually use it just like any other token. You can buy and sell it instantly for other tokens. That means you don't have to actually wait to redeem the asset. You can just sell it immediately on Binance Spot Trading. You can take loans against it as collateral and then you can withdraw it from the platform as well if you want to, uh, want to use it in DeFi. So if we go up to Binance Spot, I mean just in the Spot Trading screen right here, and then go and choose the assets that we want to trade. I'm just going to search for WB ETH and you can see it trades against two pairs. One is WB ETH against ETH and then one is against USDT. WB ETH against ETH, if we click this, you can see that there is this, uh, you know, march upwards in WB ETH against ETH. Like I said, it is one ETH plus the staking rewards, right? So it's always going to be just gaining those staking rewards each and every day uh, against ETH, and that's it. If you don't want to wait to redeem, you have your WB ETH here. You can just go ahead and sell it directly for ETH if you want, and you can sell it for USDT if you want to just get out into a, a you know crypto dollar as well. So that's easy. If you just want to buy and sell it, you can do it in the Binance spot market. You don't have to wait to redeem. Binance also let us use WB ETH in Binance loans as a collateral asset. So we can actually use it as collateral to borrow against. So if we go to more and then loans, you'll see that one of the assets you can use is WB ETH. So borrow now. And I will choose the collateral that I'm using. Uh, I'm going to choose WB ETH here. And we'll choose an amount like this. And it says how much do you want to borrow against it. So let's borrow some uh, assets against it. So if you want to know more about Binance loans, I've got a specific video on that that goes through all of the details that you would know, some of the risks, essentially what LTV is and, uh, you know, how to borrow against. But you can see annualized interest rate here is about 10%. So, you know, you're borrowing against the value of your assets. You actually have USDT here. You can then use that in DeFi or you can, you know, actually take it out into the TradFi system or whatever you want. But it's one of the assets that we can use in Binance Loans. And remember, this is essentially ETH plus the staking rewards. So it's still a risk asset, it still can go up and down in value for sure, uh, in line with ETH. You're just getting extra on top from the staking rewards if you're gonna use ETH as a collateral asset anyway. We can also withdraw WB ETH from the Binance platform altogether. It's a token that exists on the Ethereum mainnet and the BNB chain. So if you're looking to use this token in DeFi pools to earn some extra yields, or if you just want to have self custody of the asset yourself, then you can take it out to any Ethereum wallet that you have, you know, MetaMask, Trust Wallet, uh, Web3 Wallet from Binance, if you have that as well, you can withdraw it straight through to there. So what I've done here is gone to the withdraw screen, search for WB ETH, you can see that here, this is my address that I've just pasted in. And if you select the network, you can use either Ethereum mainnet or BNB chain, and then you can take self custody of your asset. This is a DeFi token, so you can use it in DeFi pools, uh, or whatever other way that you'd want to actually earn some extra fees on it. I'll leave some videos on why you'd want to do that down in the description as well. If you don't want to sell out of your WB ETH in the Binance spot market for either ETH or USDT, then you can, of course, come and redeem it. So go back into the simple earn page, come to ETH staking here, press redeem, and it's going to say, this is how much WB ETH that you have. Do you want to redeem it? It turns back into ETH. And remember, you actually get more ETH than you have in WB ETH, or you should at least because uh, the WB ETH is worth more than ETH over time as the staking rewards accrue. So you should actually rede redeem a smaller amount of WB ETH than you get in the native ETH token. That's going to take a couple of days and you may miss out on a couple of days worth of the staking rewards there. So you can either redeem, that's no cost, or go to the spot market and pay some very small trading fees to actually just trade the WB ETH for either ETH or USDT.